guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you may be wondering where I am. I'm in front of a completely different bookcase, but I'm actually at my parents' house. I am house sitting slash cat sitting for them. For this weekend, they went away, and my mom is also a reader. If you can't tell, can you guess where I got it from? So, I will film in front of different books this weekend. But without further ado, let's get into my Owl Crate unboxing for the month of June. I'm so excited about this. I haven't looked at spoilers yet for this, but basically I've been seeing people freaking out about this box, so I'm so excited to get into it. I also could not find their scissors, so steak knife it is. Sorry, mom and dad, but this is how it's going. So I'm excited because this is one of their taller boxes. Like, it's not as short and squat. It's very tall, which means there's a lot of stuff packed in here. So, ooh, this is what I'm seeing. First of all, I'm very excited because you know what I see under this gorgeous, gorgeous spoiler card? Just take a gander, it looks beautiful, is one of these boxes. These boxes mean good things. They generally mean mugs. So, oh, I'm also seeing something large here. Oh, and there's their pin. Okay, I'm gonna put it down, go through one thing at a time. Let's get going. June's theme is summer lovin', and I have a feeling this is just going to be an adorable, summery, probably contemporary box. Based on the postcard, based on the vibes that I'm seeing, I'm very excited for this because I am in such summer, fluffy, contemporary mode. I'm so excited for it. So this is what the card looks like. So yes, I definitely have to get into this. This is an L Crate exclusive mug. Like I said, everything that comes in boxes like this get me very excited. And this box is just so precious. It has little watermelon slices and sunglasses and umbrellas and suns and popsicles and of course books. This is just... This is so precious. So I just want to open it. Let's see what the mug is. Okay, well, there's a lid. Is this a candle? No, it's a mug. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God. I'll show you. I'm just staring at it. I'll show the camera. Don't worry. So this is what it looks like. This is the cutest thing. Oh my God. I can't get over this. Okay, so it's a little mason jar mug. Like it has a handle. I love the orange gradient on it. And it actually has like a legitimate top. Oh my god, this is so cute. And it's just glass, which I'm thinking means this is actually microwave safe, which makes me very proud because I like microwaving things. But it says bookworm and proud and it has like, oh, I'll do a close up for you guys so you can see it. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this too well, but it says bookworm and proud and it's just like a raised glass with a lid. Oh my god, and it says the same thing on the back. This is so precious. As of right now, I'm sold on this box. You guys know if you're gonna put a mug and a subscription box, it's gonna be my favorite box of all time. This is already up there because I'm feeling like the summer vibes, like it's very orange. Orange is my favorite color. I'm ready. So the next thing that was just sitting on top was this month's pin, which is just a little Ferris wheel, which is taken from their spoiler card. And the next thing I want to get into is this because it is large. And I don't know what it is yet. Oh my god, is this a towel? Oh my god, this is a beach towel! It's upside down. It was upside down the whole time. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at it. It says my summer is all booked. This is the cutest thing. Also, are you guys really impressed by my wingspan right now? Aka math joke. But this is like as far as my arms will reach. So this is like a large and in charge towel. This is the type of towel that I will take out into my yard to sit on, to read in the sunshine. I love it. This is already by far probably my favorite box from them. This is just, this is great. So the next thing is a tea from Riddle's Tea Shop, which I believe is the like vendor reveal that they did for this month. And this is apple picking at night. It's summer apple and peach tea. Oh my God, all of the teas that I've gotten recently sound like perfect iced teas. So I think I'm actually gonna brew this as an iced tea. And this is an Owl Crate exclusive. I'll show you the gorgeous label. This is so cute. Oh yeah, it is. It is for a cold brew. Based on the directions, go me. Pat on the back. That's just what the adorable little label looks like. Oh my God, this is so summery and adorable. And on the back, there are actually instructions for how to cold brew it. Yay. The next thing that I'm pulling out of the box is I think a pen or a pencil that has the cutest little cactus on the top that says sunny day. I'll show you guys, it's real quick, but it has a little cap. Oh, it's a pen. Ooh, I like this. This reminds me of like school store in elementary school where you bought all the like cool crazy pens. This is, oh, this is so cute. I will actually write with this because hello, I'm an adult. I can write with whatever utensil I want. So this is just what it looks like. It has a little tiny cactus on the tip that says sunny day and it has a capped 
tip right there. The next thing is a bookmark from Ink and Wonder Designs, which is one of my all-time favorite Etsy shops. They make the wood marks. They're just so unique and cool and beautiful. And this one is just so perfect for summer. So it says summer was a book of hope and it has a lovely like mountainous camping tent scene on it. And this is from Benjamin Allier Science who wrote Aristotle and Dante. Is this a quote from that or is this a quote from their new one? I haven't read their new one and it's been a long time. Probably from Aristotle and Dante because that was like a summary book, but oh my goodness, this is so precious. This is what it looks like and it's just gorgeous and this is always on like a very very thin piece of wood i think it's just balsa wood so it's kind of like flexible but oh my gosh these are like my favorite bookmarks ever and this one is just so perfect for summer i'm literally going to use this all summer long and the next item obviously goes with the book it's a little swag thing so i will show you the book with the owl crate exclusive cover this is from twinkle with love by Sandie Menon. I have no idea how to say that. I apologize profusely. But we also got a little popcorn keychain that goes with it. I'll show you guys real quick. But this is what the exclusive cover looks like, which is adorable. So this is what the little keychain looks like. It's a little bucket of popcorn. It has like the title of the book on it. It's just blue on the other side. So I like that this matches their cover. And in with the book, we get a letter from the author with the cover printed on the back, which is lovely. And she has adorable handwriting, just saying. It is so cute. And this is what the cover looks like. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is pink on the regular cover. And I want to say she is in blue. I like this color combination so much more. I'm not super girly with like the pinkish and the bluish stuff. Teal, like this turquoise teal color and yellow is my jam though. I love this. This is so cute and it comes signed, which is amazing. And I like that it has like its own page that says Alcrate on it. So this is like a very exclusive edition. It's not just like written. But this is from the author who wrote, uh, what was it? When Dimple Met Rishi, which I read last summer. It was not my favorite but it was cute. It was summery. I have a feeling this will just be a really cute one-time summer read for me. Um, I believe this is following a girl who is an aspiring filmmaker and it has everything to do with a film festival. I'm sure there is going to be a adorable romance that comes in because just look at it. It looks like it's going to be a nice fluffy contemporary for summertime. As always in the bottom of the box we get the little catalog magazine thing that they print up with a whole bunch of like insider information, things about the book, recommendations, and like fun puzzles and stuff. And then in the bottom of the box we have the card that has the July theme which is strange and unusual and it will include ooh, an officially licensed item from Stranger Things. Yes, I am such a Stranger Things fan. Also, look at that. That's like fiery and exciting. I totally already know what book this is and I'm already seeing the controversy because of just things about it. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's just the first time they've ever kind of done this in one of their boxes. So intrigue. So if you guys would like to get your hands on a copy of the July box, because hello, Stranger Things, I'm on board. I will leave my referral page down below. It always helps a sister out if you click it. That's always great. And that is officially the bottom of the box. I've hit box. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I love this. The towel and the mug are possibly my two favorite items that I've ever received in a subscription box. That's amazing. Like, can we just, you can't see it in the shot at all, but this towel is amazing. It's going to accompany me on many an afternoon reading outside, probably getting trampled by goats and ponies. That's my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe button because I have some more unboxings coming up that I'm going to film today, probably. So I will see you guys in one of those.